What is up guys, Asian Masters here. Today we're doing another LEGO Speed Champions 2020 set review. This time it is on the 76896 Nissan GTR Nismo. This has 298 pieces on the front of the box. You can just see the car. On the back of the box you can just see different angles of the car. So first off, I want to once again address the change in 2020 from the 6th stud build to the 8th stud build. So once again here, I have brought in the McLaren Senna just because I feel like this is going to be set. Most people are going to be pretty familiar with since it just came out. And you can see just the differences here between height and length and all that. You can see the big differences. If you want to see a more in-depth kind of explanation on the benefits and the cons of these changes, check out my Audi review, but I don't want to take up too much time talking about this. So let's go ahead and look at the actual GTR. So this GTR was one of my more anticipated sets coming from this 2020 line of Speed Champion sets, and I must say I am not disappointed here. This set looks really, really nice. Now it's not perfect, but it is pretty, pretty close. Now I think the most controversial part about this whole build is going to be this front section right here, and the main reason for that is because although this is pretty well done for the most part, the shaping is a bit off. Now most noticeably is right up in this grill section. This grill section is pretty well done, but it is very, very boxy now. In the official car, you know, the real live version of the car, this would be a little bit more angular right on these edges here. It would be kind of cut off and it'd have a little bit of a slant. Now, I don't think that's too big of a deal because that is something, especially in this scale, that is really hard to get in. It's such a small detail and it really doesn't detract not having that here, but I think some people will mind it, especially because I think you could have put a little sticker here to kind of resemble just in white you could have put a little slant there to try to just pretend force that shaping in a little bit and I think some people would have liked that better but I think it's fine. The other thing that I think some people are going to be a little bit a little bit iffy on is this piece right here the light. Now the light is fine I think it's okay but because it's so adjustable you can move it everywhere it kind of leaves you with a choice here so if you look at it on this side right now, it's nice and filled in, but look at it from the front, and it's a little bit awkward. It's got that little gap and you can't really see it, so it leaves you with a choice. You can move it all the way in like that, and you can see the light. You can push it all the way in here, and now it's, you know, really nice filled in on this side, but it's looking a little bit awkward from the front. So I think the best place for this is just a little bit of an in-between area, like right around there. That's kind of where I like to keep it where there's still a small gap right there, but it kind of gives you the best of both worlds, so I think it works best. This hood section, once again, like the Audi, is a printed piece, which is nice to see. I guess that's just something they're doing with all the Speed Champion sets in 2020. These pieces like here will pretty much always be printed, and this is slightly adjustable, only a little bit. I think that's pretty good, though. These pieces on the side here are all stickers. I think all of those are nice details. It all just comes together pretty well. From a side view, I think this looks pretty good. There is a ton of stickering, so this right here is a giant sticker, that's a sticker, all of this is stickers, and that is on the other side too. But something interesting, notice that this is actually asymmetrical. On the other side, this sticker is actually faced the other way, and it looks a lot more complete. Like these lines right here, they actually all line up together and it looks right. So I double checked, and it, it is actually supposed to be like this. This sticker on this side is supposed to be facing this other way and more broken up than the other one. Not sure why that is. I can't find a particular image of the real car in this specific livery, but I guess that's fine. That's just something interesting to note. If you don't like it, just flip the sticker the other way. No one will care. Other things to note that I think is pretty good, right up here this triangular slope piece does a really nice job of just getting a small little bit of detailing for a nice little vent. I think that looks pretty good. And I also like how they are able to keep in all this red detailing throughout. Just a bunch of nice stuff here. The back is another pretty nice area, nothing to complain about here. I like everything they've done, especially the lights, they look really good and the way they got this entire little sloping assembly with these 1x2 bricks looks really good. Also like the way they've kept the red in once again and also these little intakes, just whole thing on the back looks really nice. Also a few more quick things to note on the back end here, these two pieces right on top of this windscreen, both of these are printed which is nice to see. These are stickers and this entire mirror section, you can actually lift this up and inside you can see a grand total of just a bunch of studs, there's nothing in there. Not sure why they did that, it is kind of a small cramped space, so I guess they couldn't fit anything in there, but it is a little bit of a missed opportunity. They could have always gone with like a sticker or something, but I think that's okay for the most part. And then 
Last thing is they have this spoiler, which is not adjustable. There's no stickers on it, but it looks fine. Removing this windscreen piece, we can get a better look at the interior. Nothing too crazy here. Let me just remove this minifigure really quickly, get a better look. So we have two red little seat cushions on the back, and then we just have a steering wheel and a control stick. And since this is now the eight stud wide build, you can't fit two minifigures, although this set does only come with one. If you just have a random minifigure somewhere around and you don't have anything to do with it, you could throw it inside here if you want, because now you can do that. And speaking of the minifigure, here's a closer look at him. The torso printing is pretty nice and that does continue to the legs and then on the back it is nearly identical to the torso printing on the front. He also does have a hair piece as well as a wrench. So overall I'm very very happy with this set. As I've said before I do think the 8 stud build is a huge improvement from the 6 stud build and I think it's absolutely worth it to increase to that $20 price tag from the 15 of previous years. I think the build is just now much more substantial and you can really see the value you're getting in that extra five dollars it's very noticeable doesn't feel like a ripoff looks really nice now this car for the most part i think pretty much everyone will like it even me who is not a particularly huge fan of the gtr you know in real life i'm a bigger fan of like a zr1 or something like that even though those aren't particularly related but that's the type of car i like but the point being that even in Lego form, a car that, you know, not my favorite thing in real life, I think looks really cool here. The red in particular, I think, makes it that much better having the red on this bottom section that carries out throughout. I think that's just a small detail that makes it that much better. I do think the choice of livery was pretty good here, although I think if you don't want it on there, I think you can get away with it. Although you are kind of stuck with this printing, so it is going to break things up a little bit, but I think you could get away with it for the most part. But overall, another set that I think is really good. Obviously, no functions, but I think a really nice display piece. And for anyone that's a big fan of the GTR, I think you'll be happy with this. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, see you guys later.